Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to manage tax settings in OpCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.90. So, charging sales tax for your products on an OpCommerce site is very easy. There are several ways you can calculate tax in OpCommerce, but before we look into those options, let's go ahead and see how we can manage the tax settings. Let's go to the dashboard in the administration section. And to manage tax settings, go to configuration and go to settings and select tax settings. Okay. And here we can see all the options. If you have basics, you can simply select advanced if you want to see all these settings. As you can see, basic has only a few settings. So we'll just go over the advanced. Uh, default tax category. This is something that we will definitely go in the um, the later part of the video about the tax categories. But you can calculate based tax based on billing address, shipping address, or default address. You do have the option to select tax based on pick a point address. Default tax calculation. You can simply select your country, state, and define the zip code, and the tax will be calculated based on that location. In the tax displaying option, this option allow customer to select tax display type. And if this is selected, then this is unchecked tax display type can be excluding taxes or exc including taxes. Basically excluding tax enforced ex tax should be excluded and it's very self explanatory Okay. If your price should include taxes, you want to display tax suffix to display like you know tax excluding tax something you know like when you see the uh, price of an item and it says including taxes excluding taxes something like that so okay just like this if you see the tooltip right it says, it says ex including taxes and excluding taxes all right display all tax rates Basically, this checkbox is to display all the applied tax rate on a separate line in the shopping cart page. Hide zero taxes. This is a checkbox to hide the zero tax value in the order summary. Hide tax in order summary. This option is to hide the tax value in the order summary when prices are shown as tax inclusive. Force tax exclusion for order subtotal. This checkbox is to always exclude tax from the order subtotal, irrelevant of the selected tax display type. The checkbox affects only pages where order totals are displayed. Okay. If your shipping is taxable, you can select this. Shipping price includes taxes, or if there's any category that you would like to assign payment, payment method, additional fees taxable. If you have any additional fee for the payment, you can add taxes to it and go over those options accordingly. VAT, which is also known as VAT, in U, U, EU VAT enable, if you enable this, what you have to do is first simply make sure that your taxes is based on shipping address. If you are living in Europe and you have to charge VAT from your customers, and after this make sure EU VAT is enabled and this will ensure that tax is charged only for the shipment within the UE, EU countries and after that you can select the country where your shop uh, shop is in basically NOPS commerce store site where you are uh, applicable to charge taxes from the customers and if applicable you can allow tax exempt option right here this will ensure that your VAT registered customers who are shopping within the EU but outside the countries in which the store is located will not be charged VAT or VAT. Assume VAT is always valid. You can use web services and notify admin when a new VAT number is submitted. Yeah. So these are the options for EU VAT. Alright, so after these tax settings, let's look into the tax categories or maybe tax provider. To do that, 
you can simply go into the configuration, tax. Let's go into tax categories first. Here you can define different categories for your tax. For instance, if you have, uh, let's say, you're selling books, so you can create a separate category for book. If you're selling electronic and software, you can create a separate category for so. And you can simply click on add new record and you can add something like, let's say you uh, do computers. You want to create a separate category for computer for the taxes. And you can put the display order here. I'm going to put 21. So that is displayed right after this. And update. So now when I'm adding any product related to computer, I will select the computer tax category and assign that to the product. So after that, you have added all these categories based on the product you have on the store side. We can go into the tax provider. And here you can make sure that it's, uh, it's your primary tax provider. You can configure it. And here, in case it's fixed rate, you can simply put, all right, if it's book, let's say you will like 5%. If it's electronic and software, you would like to charge 10% taxes. You can simply do fixed rate. Or if you would like to add the taxes based on a zip code, you can do select your country. For instance, I select US. Let's say I live in Texas. I select Texas and I can do zip code and I can do big category and then I will select, let's say, 10%. So when anybody is buying anything on your store site and if that product has this tax category and this zip code falls for the order, then 10% will be charged. Similarly, I can do something like a different zip code here and different categories and this is how I can define all the different zip codes where I'm allowed to calculate or charge customers taxes okay so after this is done what we can do is now we need to learn how we can assign taxes to the products so let's go into the catalog and products. So let's pick any product that we already have on the knob commerce side. So if I select on, let's say, Adobe Photoshop, I'm going to edit this. And when you're adding or updating a product on your knob commerce side, you will see an option for tax. You can make the product either tax exempt so that no tax will be calculated or uh, charged by the customer or you can simply select the category here. Like right now by default it's showing electronic and software. So depending on your product you can assign a tax category. So just to see how the tax calculation is done, I'm going to simply delete these options. And what I'm going to do is calculate flat tax rate just to keep it simple and easy. Since we have 10%, so I will make sure it's uh, update. And now, since we have electronic and software category assigned to this product, let's go to the public store. Okay. It's $75. Let's add this product to the shopping cart. Here you can see. I'm being charged $7.50, which is 10% of $75. And hence, uh, the total is 82%. And right here, since I have computer here, zero. If I select computer save and continue and if I update the shopping cart we can see there's no tax because I have defined at zero there 
if I select the category again and I'm doing the product, it's going to do that. And there you have it. And this is how we manage tax settings in AppCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by AppCommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.